Welcome to a quick demonstration of the Wombat Legal Pico system running from an Android tablet. What I'll show in this demonstration is how to upload data to the Wombat Legal Pico system on the cloud, how to ingest it, index it, create some small bundles, export them and then redact them all on the Android tablet. The first step is to log in to the Wombat Legal Pico system. <coughs> so we'll use the Android browser to do that. We need to enter the URL, HTTPS, so we use uh, an encrypted protocol to communicate with the system. It brings us to a screen which requires our credentials and enter a password. And that brings us to a screen which enables us to do a few basic functions. Um, then the next step is to log into a case. Only one case is supported in the Wombat Legal Pico system. The first thing we need to do is to load up some data. I have taken some data off a Windows server uh, which consists of four zip files which I want to upload. So I'll just use the file manager and show you those four zip files. So here they are, one, two, three, four. Uh, this particular computer supports uh, a USB key. So the, tr the files were simply transferred via a USB key and put into the WebDAV file manager folder ready for being ready for an upload. The next step is to upload the documents to the Wombat Legal Pico system. So to do that we'll use the WebDAV file manager uh, which is a free download off the market uh, as are pretty much all of these applications in this demonstration. Uh, and to do that we need to enter the details of the server. So I'll do that by selecting the add server protocol and that's pretty well all we need. Okay, now we're able to connect to the server itself and there are my folders on the server. So the one we're interested in is the import folder, that's where we want to put these files. And I will now go and select the files that we want to put onto the server and they are in the WebDAV file manager folder and the files of interest are my PDFs, upload those guys. So that's those guys done. Uh, a little bit of test data. So that's various foreign languages and that kind of thing to demonstrate the UTF-8 capability. Uh, some more test data, which is uh, email, PST data. And then we have quite a large PST, which is 415 megabytes in size. That'll take a little while to transfer. And there it is. The upload is now complete. Our import folder. And there are our zip files there. Right, the next step is to unzip those zip files on the Wombat Legal Pico server itself. So we go to the ingestion administration, open up the ingestion window, and we will unzip all those documents. So what that will do is unzip and extract the PST. So the unzipping process, I think, pops it out to the original one gigabyte of size, uh, which is the limit for our $99 Wombat Legal Pico system. Okay, that is the extraction completed. Now what we can do is commence the ingestion. So to start ingestion, simply press the ingest button. And that is the completion 
of the ingestion phase. What we can do now is look at the exceptional report to see how many documents have failed to be processed. And then we have a list of the documents that have had trouble for one reason or another. Um, and we can download a CSV. If I click this link here, a CSV file will download and that will give you the full path names of the documents that are in trouble. And they can be handled by hand or some other process, an exception process. Okay, the final step now is to index the data that has been extracted and that will run it through the full text indexer, the near duplicate processing, uh, the email threading uh, and also uh, some indexes for uh, various tree structures and things like that for the menus. So we click the index button at this point and that will launch the indexing phase. At this point all of the data is now ingested and indexed into the system and we're able to view uh, and work on all of that data in the system. So you can see uh, we have 52 folders and subfolders and 8,864 documents and we can start drilling into those, drill into the tree structure. This area is the a PST. Um, this data is taken from the Enron version 2 collection which has all of the attachments as well. We can see just the documents in that inbox. Um, we can cycle through those guys there. Okay the next thing I want to show is how to create some bundles and then export those back to uh, a point where the Android tablet has access to the documents for doing redaction. The next step is to create a bundle for export. So in the interests of speed and being able to upload this video onto YouTube, I have already created a bundle which is here. So it's a uh, composed of a phrase, a couple of words uh, and uh, a date range and those are all combined in this manner here of export. I will now take these 28 documents and send them to the export directory and what I want to do is save them as their original names I probably just want the original unaltered folder structure, although I could use the Bates labels for that. And the output that I'd like to have is uh, PDF. Give me some PDFs. Uh, and what I will do now is start my export. My export will now start up. Okay, that's all completed and the data is now available via the web dev. The final step is to open up the web dev again and now go across to the export directory. And here we can see the bundle that's been exported and we can drill into that guy has the original folder structure. I'll just pull out some documents pretty much at random here. We can nominate what we'd like to view it in and I would like to use I annotate. And here is my document. And I can whiz through that and I can start marking it up. and pieces of text around the place that look like they might be interesting. Uh, maybe I want to highlight various bits and pieces and perhaps put an annotation in there. And essentially there we have it. Thanks for watching.